I'm delighted to be speaking in support of this exciting CT technology um, that has already made significant impact uh, to the patient care, and it also promises to change the practice of radiology. From the acquisition standpoint, a dual energy CT is almost similar to a conventional technology. However, the data that is available is rich and can be interrogated to extract more details uh, to enhance the capabilities of a CT. The collective clinical experience, published literature, and research has demonstrated uh, that dual energy CT uh, is adding value to high impact clinical indications. And these uh, can be summarized in few big domains. Uh, one being uh, it improves uh, confidence in detection and characterization of soft tissue lesion, therefore um, less additional tests are needed uh, to answer questions like in uh, incidental finding evaluation. Um, oncology workup is uh, far better. Uh, we have need fewer acquisition phases to give same answers. Uh, vascular imaging is vastly more superior. Um, there are new indications being generated due to material separation capabilities, um, as well as metal artifact reduction opportunities. The processed images uh, offer superior soft tissue contrast, and that enables better detection and characterization of challenging lesions uh, like hypodense uh, liver lesions in a background of steatosis, hypervascular lesion detection and characterization, especially the smaller lesion. Bowel abnormalities can be challenging, especially when bowel is collapsed. Uh, one can see those uh, far better. Therefore, false positives and false negatives can be minimized. Reliance on cross-sectional imaging studies have also led to uh, higher burden of low-yield incidental findings. Uh, most of these incidental findings are of uh, less clinical relevance, but they contribute uh, substantially to the healthcare cost as well as to patient morbidity. Uh, therefore, uh, it is a desirable goal to have an imaging study that can address this challenge of um, both the detection but also characterization of incidental findings. And this is precisely what has been shown uh, with the use of dual energy CT that one single exam can concurrently uh, meet the dual objectives of detection and characterization, therefore needing fewer additional investigation while lowering healthcare costs. The process dual energy CT images uh, lends clarity in tissue characterization, and therefore incidental renal lesion can be reliably characterized on a single contrast-enhanced exam, uh, therefore needing fewer additional investigations like MRI or other interventions. Dual energy CT also creates a level playing field uh, irrespective of reader's confidence as these images provide clarity in re reliable uh, characterization of renal lesion into enhancing and non-enhancing lesion. And this is clearly valuable uh, when you have multiple lesion. Uh, not only that, uh, it makes readers more efficient as uh, uh, they rarely have to put region of uh, interest to quantify presence or absence of enhancement, and the accuracy uh, is shown to be better than even sub. Now, virtual monochromatic images uh, available uh, from dual energy CT uh, provides increased uh, iodine attenuation and better contrast to noise ratio compared to single energy CT. Uh, this has uh, application in providing high quality CT angiogram exams. Uh, the iodine detection is better. Uh, we need fewer acquisition phases as one can manipulate the monochromatic images to provide 
uh, a desired uh, image contrast and also uh, lower iodine dose is needed to provide a diagnostic quality. Uh, this technology is also more sensitive in detecting uh, traces of uh, iodine leak uh, that is needed for providing a diagnosis uh, of a bowel leak like in this situation or looking at the integrity of vascular structure as in this patient with a ruptured aneurysm where the images can be processed to look at presence of hemorrhage as well as improve the uh, conspicuity of uh, leaking aneurysm that has to be treated uh, with uh, intervention uh, approaches like embolization. So having a high confidence in diagnosis is highly desirable uh, as timely care is essential and CT is the diagnostic modality for these patients. Uh, iodine dose reduction is a popular um, uh, application of dual energy CT and th this technique has provided unique opportunity in uh, high risk patients where uh, routinely iodine dose can be reduced by 50% or more uh, while still providing a high quality CT angiogram images. In certain uh, high risk patient, a uh, 70 to 80% of dose reduction has also been demonstrated and published in literature. Uh, studies have also shown that uh, patients who would have normally never received IV contrast due to their compromised renal function can now be uh, evaluated with a low dose of uh, uh, iodine uh, and still providing a diagnostic uh, quality images, therefore facilitating a timely care in a cost-efficient manner to the patient. There are new indications being generated with better material separation capabilities. For example, in the gout evaluation, since dual energy CT can detect gout crystals, uh, dual energy CT is now part of the guideline for a diagnostic criteria for for gout. Uh, the, it is increasingly being applied in multiple practices as a biomarker for assessing therapeutic effectiveness of uh, in gout by quantifying the gout crystals where, with using this technology. And again, this is a new indication that was not possible in the past. Uh, same concept uh, have also been ex extended in kidney stone characterization where accurate uh, characterization of uric acid stone has been demonstrated in multiple studies for kidney stones greater than three millimeter in size, therefore providing a precision management capability to urologists in patients with uric acid stones. Uh, there are uh, advanced uh, image processing techniques that have been introduced allowing uh, more material separation capabilities, including newer materials uh, that are creating more diagnostic opportunities as well as opportunities for new contrast media for CT. For example, um, a, a virtual non-calcium technique uh, allows detection of marrow edema uh, typically, uh, uh, MRI is applied for this indication. Now, CT is increasingly being shown uh, to diagnose marrow edema uh, for uh, as well as subtle uh, marrow uh, tumors or infiltrations. Now, this technology is in flux. Uh, there has been uh, tremendous improvements over time since the first introduction of dual energy CT. And what we have seen, uh, the image processing has improved, the image quality has improved, the, the radiation dose is lower. Uh, also, there are more materials uh, separation capabilities with the new technology. It is no surprise that the value of dual energy CT is translating into wider adoption of this technique and also it's finding new indications in every body part. In summary, dual energy technology is improving value of CT 
uh, by empowering radiologists uh, to provide more accurate and efficient diagnosis. It's generating new clinical applications and indications, therefore enhancing the reach of CT in the clinical domain. Uh, it is providing opportunities to lower cost while maintaining a very high uh, safety profile. However, with escalating demand and wider adoption of this technology in the clinical practice, there is a need uh, to build workflow efficiencies as well as perform validation studies so dual energy CT can become a standard of care uh, for most clinical applications. With that, I thank you all for your kind attention.